On the streets of Venice, a medieval plague doctor's costume, joined by more modern methods of disease control for the city's famed carnival celebration on Sunday. But the party would soon be over, as Italian authorities called off the festival in a bid to stem the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Italy is racing to contain the largest and fastest moving outbreak in Europe. Since Friday, the number of known cases there has jumped from three to more than 150, with three deaths so far. Nearly a dozen towns in the north of the country have been placed under effective quarantine. Health facilities have not managed to identify the patient zero. It's therefore difficult to make predictions regarding the spread of the virus. The only concrete and useful measure to take has been to close the affected territories. The virus is now rapidly reaching out beyond its epicenter of mainland China, where it's already infected some 77,000 people. South Korea on Sunday raised its national alert to the highest level, as infections there have surged past 600, with six deaths so far. The southeastern city of Daegu, a particular hot spot, has taken strict measures to limit public activity. We ask you to trust the government, cooperate with disinfection operations, and follow our guidelines. Please refrain from going outside and minimize your movements as best as you can for at least the next two weeks. Iran also hard hit, with known cases there jumping from two on Wednesday to 43 on Sunday, with eight deaths. Most infections found in the holy city of Qom, a popular destination for Shiite pilgrims throughout the region. Iraq, Turkey, Pakistan and Armenia have all temporarily closed their borders with Iran as they try to slow the virus's spread.